In this video, I'm again going to go back to the um, example of the HR database that we have uh, with us. And I'm going to show you some examples of some cross joins and inner joins with that database. So I'm just going to start with a select star from employees so we can see what's in there. So we have quite a few items there. And <clears throat> notice that we have um, a job ID as well. Job ID is a foreign key that points to the jobs table. So if we look at our jobs table over here, we have a job ID, job title, min and max salary um, as well. So let's just do cross join. jobs and see what we get. So we have 107 rows in employees. Let's see how many rows we have in jobs. Select count star from jobs will we'll display that number to us. 19. So 19 times 107 is the number that we should get in uh, the employees table or the the result of this 19 times 107 so if we do the math we should see 19 times 107 and we get 2033 and you notice that 2033 is the number of rows that were returned. And you can do this in two ways, like I said. And uh, by the way, notice that uh, we have job ID, uh, job title, min and max salary for every employee. So we, need, we see that Stephen King should have 19 records paired with the 19 different job IDs here. Uh, and same with the next person, 19, paired with each of the job titles. But notice that Stephen King only has one job ID. So we should only match on this row right here because Stephen King is AD president and, and that's his salary range. Same with the second person. The second person is ADVP. So if we look at these and try to match these, ADVP is this row right here. Okay? So how could we do that? Well, one way we could do it is through an inner join. So if we try to run this with an inner join, to the jobs table just like that it's going to run but without an on clause it's going to be the same as the cross join so we have to add an on clause and we want to say where employees a job id and let's do aliases here so it's easier i'm just going to say j and e where the employees tables job ID is equal to the jobs tables job ID. And now when we run this, we should get 107 records because each person in the employees table is paired with a job in the jobs table. So let's run this. And our results certainly uh, give us 107 people. And we also notice that, um, let's sort by last name so I can find uh, Mr. King. So here's Mr. King, as we said before, AD Prez is now matched with AD Prez. And you have the ability now <clears throat> to list things uh, with the different people. So I can say E dot first name. Let's do last comma first, last name. And if we wanted to add a comma, 
And if we wanted to add a uh, the first name, e dot first name, and then we wanted to do d dot job title, or I'm sorry, j dot job title. Um, we we can do that, and let's run that. But instead of this being in different columns, what we really want is these concatenated together. So you can do concat and then wrap what you want concatenated together in uh, parentheses so that you can display it a little better. So we can call this uh, employee name. So there we go. We have that concatenated. We have this listed um, directly. Uh, again, we sort by, if we want to sort by name, we can just click there and find Stephen King. He's the president. And Nina is the administration vice president, which is the ADVP that we saw in the results set. So those are, that's the way you would do an inner join. But let's also remember that we have the ability to do a self-join as well. So I'm going to start with select star so we can see this a little better. Now, when we do an, a self-join, we have to have an alias for uh, the records. So I'm going to do an inner join employees e, uh, M because let's say MGR for manager and EMP for employee so it's a little more clear and we want to enter join on the employees copy notice that the employees table has a manager ID and that manager ID is a foreign key to the employees employee ID so we want the employee's manager ID to match to the manager's employee ID. And when we run this, we now see that uh, Nina's manager is Stephen King, Lex's manager is Stephen King, Alexander's manager is Lex, and then Bruce, David, Valley, and uh, Diana's manager is Alexander. So we now see that we can, can do that. So let's just simply list the names. We want the employee's name. So we'll do E dot first. Uh, let's do last name first again. And I'm going to concat those together so that we can say employee name. And then I'll just do the same thing. I can copy and paste this. And we'll do, sorry, EMP. And then change this to MGR for the managers last name and first name. So when I run this, now I see very clearly who the managers are for each person. And I should change this also to say manager name. Okay. And there we go. That is a self-inner join.